hey gorgeous welcome back to my channel so today i'm back again with another full face makeup tutorial i'll be doing a iso blue cut crease using the color of my vintage shirt so without any further ado let's get down to the video okay i'll be speeding that part up i'll be using davis eye pencil in the shade 003 and i'll be lining my eyebrow using the natural shade of my eyebrows i'll be filling that in using the same eyebrow pencil then i'll be drawing that hair like line that i do i so much love doing and i've basically filling it in Okay, so I'll be concealing my eyebrows using two shades today. I'll be using Fun for the upper outline and the shade Warm Honey for the lower outline. And I'll be concealing just the outline I just made. And basically after doing this, I'm only going to blend this out. Okay, the next part is priming my eyes and I'll be using a Lego Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey and I'll be blending that in using a, a beauty blender. Okay, so the next part is taking this very dark blue shade to my crease line. Um, this shade is from Usher's Button Color Eyeshadow Palette. And I'll be doing a circular motion around that crease and then later on I'm going to puff that in you know just to, cons to cancel that um, hash line I'm just going to take the same brush clean it up and just use it to puff that color in and now that I'm done with this part the next part is the front part I'm going to cut my crease in a cat shape Okay, the fun, the fun part about this is you'll be cutting it and to get this exactly shape that I just did, you have to cut your crease above your normal cut crease line, okay? And if you have the same eyes, kind of um, a small hooded eyes that I have, I think this is the best makeup for you wearing a vintage shirt, actually. So I'm going to be taking that The Magic by Juvia eyeshadow palette and I'm taking that icy blue color from there. Um, the first thing I did basically was just blending this in my crease but the best way to get this color to pop in a very simple and easy way is just to collect the color with your brush then dab it to the skin of your cut crease and blend it out. That's the best way I did and it has worked for me. So you can actually make this same color using any other eyeshadow palette that has an icy blue color in it. And basically what I did off camera was applying my liquid eyeliner from Demacool, um, my mascara from Huda Beauty and my lashes from Jumeirah. Then I'll be blending my primer to my face then the next part I'm going to take on to is my foundation and this is Kiss Beauty foundation from foundation nation I'm going to dab this right from my skin so this is a new part I learned you take the neat part of your beauty blender and just Push it in your hair, it's gonna make it look well arranged but not cakey. You get 
then the next step I'm going to take is to conceal my eyes I think that shade right there is Elega Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey and for this look if you are a bit darker than I am I suggest you go ahead and use fun and if you're chocolate we have three and if you're very dark I mean we have three colors for dark complexion we have chestnut um, they have dark cocoa and they also have toffee so I would suggest to make it chestnut and toffee since dark cocoa is dark and mostly for your contouring so I'm using Sasha buttercup setting powder to set my face and this is also another stuff I learned very new um, to set your nose area um, get the setting powder at the tip of your egg shape um, beauty beauty blender So I did this and it worked so much. Now I'm applying my powder from Kiss Beauty Powder and I'm applying this all over my face, my neck and my ears. So the next part is contour and I'm contouring my cheekbones and other parts of my face. So to get that long face, this step, you don't need to skip it. You really, really need to go in with that step to get a long face. And for my nose, I'll be contouring that using the same palette. And I suggest to get a very pointed nose. You just go ahead and do this very gently till you get your desired shape. And blend it in immediately. Now I'm going to use that corrector color from the good flower palette and I'm going to line that area with it just to get that very beautiful contour effect now no blushes in the house and I'm going to be using Morphe highlighter this is in the shade of a dark golden brown kind of so basically what I'm doing is when I apply this with my brush I just use my hand to blend it in and just to make it look like the glow is coming from inside my body and not on my skin if you get what I mean so this is a new step I also learned if you want this to pop your highlighter but you don't want to have so much moist on your face this is just the best way to do this so I'm taking that to the tip of my beauty blender just to get to that area this makes it pop and so beautiful but without spraying this all over your face or having to cover your eyes spraying it so the next part we are going into is lining the lips so I'm using Davis eye pencil and this is in the shade 18 so basically I'm gonna be telling you what I did off camera which I didn't tell I didn't show you guys I actually lined these lips with um, a concealer and then a powder just to get a very clean slit around that outline edges so my lipstick I used um, naked nine lipstick which I'll be leaving everything in the comment button sorry in the description box down below so if you would love to see everything I use and for your own ease I suggest to go ahead and check that out
so that lipstick looks it was a lot dry and it started breaking for some time so I said to apply a little bit of my green tea lip gloss just to make it moisturized and beautiful so the next step I'm going to take is um, lining my waterline using MAC eye pencil and the next I'm going to do is take that icy blue color that is on my cut crease side I'm going to apply that in the inner corner of my lower lash line then I'm going in with that 14 color usher eyeshadow palette and I'm taking that dark blue I initially used I'm going to just apply that on my on the eye but I'm actually going to you know puff it up just to make it look much more condensed but in a beautiful and soft way so I'm basically going in with my liquid eyeliner and I'm sculpting that area of my eyes you know artistry So you can bring it out first if you wish but for today's look I don't want to do that but if you love that kind of look you can actually go ahead and do exactly that so I'm basically applying my mascara and for the front part I'm applying my lower lash line so I'll be putting in the description below every equipment I used for this tutorial for your ease look at that look at that I just love those lower lash lines, they are so glam. I like applying three, but you can apply as many as you want. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to apply the lower lash line. And I'll be leaving the description in the comment in the description box. Sorry, I'll be leaving the link in the description box below. So this is the final part, just applying that Morphe around that area and it looks so glam thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video